Hello, this is Jerry Fischel from Vicious Cycles in Santa Clara, Utah for Expert Village. One of the things we, we can adjust while we have our saddlebag off is the amount of air pressure in your air shocks. Um, the amount of air pressure is determined by a few things. One is quite simply rider comfort. It is also one of the things that determines the amount of air pressure you want is making sure that your fender does not bottom out to your rear wheel or that you never bottom out. When you're, you will have less air in the bike riding a solo rider. I, I suggest anywhere from 10 to 15 pounds for a solo rider. When you, when you go to a dual, a, du, a two up riding, when you're going to bring the girlfriend or the wife in the back and she wants to put all her goodies and shoes and extra makeup and the dual margarita blenders and everything into the saddlebags, you're going to need more air to keep her butt from the top, from being on top of the rear tire. So what you do is you buy one of these pumps. You want to get, this is a Harley specific pump. You can get them at Harley Davidson, you can get them at aftermarket shops. What it is is just a small air pump. Um, it has a gauge on it. It's airtight. You pump it up by hand. One of the things you never want to do is go to a gas station and put a gas station pump to this because if you hit that with a hard burst of air, you will blow the lines out and the seals out of the shocks. So let me demonstrate. Tighten this on here. Right now I'm sitting at just a little under 10 pounds. But let's say I want to take my wife and I want to go for a ride. I want to put a little more air into it. The maximum air pressure you can have in, in one of these into the, into the shocks is 35 pounds. You never want to go over 35 pounds. I'm going to bring it up because I'm not going to let her bring all her crap this time. I'm only going to let her bring a little bit of crap. I'm only going to bring it up to about 20 pounds. And one of the ways to test your system to make sure that you're not losing air is to just set this to the side and hold it for a while and make sure that the line isn't leaking and your arrow is not coming back towards the zero. If, if your pressure is dropping, your arrow will move back. But you can, you can leave it set like a lot of people will do is they'll leave it set like this for maybe like a half hour or something just to make sure they don't have a really slow leak. Um, once you, once you, if you, if you decide that you've got too much air, say you pump it up to 25 and you really only want 20 in it, there's a small release valve right here, and you just press it, and it'll let off until you get to where you want to be. There you go. You want to be right back at at 20. 